Hey guys, today I'm gonna be doing a little review of the Nikon 14 millimeter 2.8. Now this is an autofocus lens if you're using a Nikon body, but today I'm using a Sony a7R, so with just this little adapter. So we're doing manual focus today, but I'm good with that. Now there's some old barns over here and some abandoned buildings behind that. So we're gonna go check that out, shoot some photos along the way, and there's also a waterfall kind of up the mountain here. So we're gonna go uh, see what we can do. All right, let's go. All right, I know there's some kind of abandoned stuff behind this, so we're gonna go check that out. This is a really wide lens, so I'm sure it'll lend, the, like the wideness will lend to these types of photos. All right, check it out right over here. All right, so we got the river down here, and it might make for a good picture, so, I'm gonna go down there and shoot that. All right, so this is where the cool stuff is. Right over here behind me, this is where that abandoned building is. I don't know, what, I guess it's, uh, it used to be a house or something. I don't know, but uh, this is gonna be the good stuff, come on. Look at this place. Look at this floor. Giant hole. And then see this? I think it's an old stove. Look at that. Here's the door. That's crazy. Now I want to get a shot of this whole building because the roof's all caved in. I think that would be pretty cool, but I got to get a little height, so I'm going to hop up on this thing real quick. I think that's a good one. All right, so we had our fun with that abandoned building down there. Now there's a wicked waterfall up these stairs, so we're going to go up there and uh, show you guys that. All right, let's go. waterfall here and this view is even better than it was over there so I'm gonna get a quick shot. for a photo here at the waterfall. Now what I'm about to do, I don't recommend doing. It's a little bit dangerous, but it should be a good shot. So if uh, you young kids watching this, don't do something like this, it's not that smart. So now I'm going to show you guys what the lens flares are like when you're shooting into the sun because I find that it's a pleasing look with this lens.
right, so I think that's a wrap on the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the pictures and the video. I already knew this lens was awesome. I've had it for years. It's sharp, very minimal distortion. The only drawback is the price. It's about $2,000 if you want to buy it new, but I got mine used. So if you can find a decent priced uh, used one, then yeah, get it because it's a great lens. It's never going to let you down. But uh, we're going to get back to some uh, film photography videos probably on the next one. So I hope you guys come back for that. All right, see you guys. One more thing, just wait, don't go. All right, shout out to my buddy Mike for doing the filming. Thanks, pal. I appreciate you.